What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Anna Marie. Today for you we're doing an Amazon favorites, but this is going to be hair edition. These are all of my favorite hair products that I use to tame this beast. And I have pretty crazy hair. It's very curly, frizzy, fine, all of the things you don't want your hair to be. That's mine. And then mm -hmm, we'll add that to the list. If you guys want to see my whole series I'm doing, I just did a makeup favorites from Amazon. I'm also going to be doing a skincare and lifestyle favorite. So if you don't want to miss out on that, definitely subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you're notified every single time I post a video. If you guys feel like depositing some positive energy to the universe, give your girl a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. I just started a new website and it has everything you can think of and all of my favorites in one place. So I'll be linking that as well as all of the products from this video in the down bar below. So if you wanna see all of my Amazon favorites, hair edition, then just keep watching. So my first item is Goody Scissors. They're scissors to cut your own hair. I don't suggest cutting your own hair. I use these to give myself a little bang trim or if I notice like one little piece out of order or if I wanna texturize the ends. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm a cosmetologist, so I'm certified. But you can always cut your own bangs if you just need a little trim in between going to the hair salon. But get, going to the hair salon maintains that beautiful shape that you wanna continue to have and you can just give yourself a little trim when you need to, but I like these scissors to do that. Another favorite is this kitty cat headband, okay? It comes in a set of five from Amazon and they're so cute. I'm not gonna mess my hair up, but look, they're so cute. They have little kitty ears and they have all different colors. They come with a dark pink, a light pink, a cream, a black, and a gray, but I stick these everywhere. I absolutely love them and they're such a cute little headband um, to wash your face, to put your makeup on, or whatever it is, but I love these. We're gonna do tools first before hair products, okay? So the first thing that I absolutely love, and it's super dirty because I use it every day, and you lose at least 40 strands of hair. I don't know if, it's, if anyone's told you that, so if you feel like, oh my gosh, so much hair is coming out, just imagine what 40 strands of hair looks like. It's like 30 to 40 or something like that. And you're always losing hair, just like lashes. People go get their lashes done, and like, I'm losing lashes every day. We'll be like, yeah, girl, you lose lashes every day. <laughs> lashes and hair come out. It's just the whole process of it falling out and it growing back in. That's just what your hair does. And I believe it's within seven years you have a whole new head of hair. Crazy, right? So anyways, it's this wet brush, wet dry brush. And I love these brushes. This is my absolute favorite. I love this color. Um, I know they have a bunch of different ones on Amazon, but they have different shapes and sizes and all of that. But this is by far the best paddle brush I've ever used. So definitely check this out. And what's nice about it is they say it's safe to use wet or dry. So really good. Next tool is this X-N-I-C-X. -X. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. This is a, I don't know what kind of comb this is called. I forget, it's been too long. But anyways, it's got a super sharp point to give you that really straight part. Some people are more free like that. They don't need to have that straight part. But for people like me that like it straight and they need it like perfect, this will do it for you. Um, and what I love about this too is it's good for back combing, it's good for whatever you want, and I love, love this comb. And it's pink, it's so cute. Next favorite is this, it's a scalp stimulating brush. And it's got these little plastic, um, they're like thick plastic bristles that stimulate your scalp and help scalp growth. I bought one for my husband. Um, and it's really, really been helping him. He had a lot of stress going on and he had one little area and he would use this and go over it and it's pretty much gone now. So I highly suggest this. It really stimulates those hair follicles and gets the blood coming to that area. And I really, really love it and it feels good. So get somebody to give you a little scalp massage. <laughs> Next tool is this Olivia Garden round brush. I have a big one too that I really like. It's a little bit bigger than this, but I love these tools. They work really good. There's hair coming out everywhere um, because I use these all the time, but I absolutely love these brushes. Definitely check them out. Next hair tool is this Amped Up by Cricut. Oh, it's melted on the end. <laughs> 
Anyways, everything looks really jacked up because I use it every day. This is a really good backcombing and it's like a bore bristle instead of being a comb. And I like having the option because depending on what look I want and then I can just smooth over the top after I backcomb a little bit. I absolutely love this brush. Check it out. Another favorite of mine are these clips. These are the Wet Brush Pro. And I use these every single day when I'm curling my hair and doing each section, I will section it off put it up and clip it. I just think it's so much faster than a hair tie. A hair tie just takes too long to get in and out each time. Always use a clip, so much easier. I use scrunchies, I'm bringing it back. Um, scrunchies are so great when you sleep at night. They're not as harsh and honestly, even when I'm at home, I use scrunchies because if you use those plastic, a little um, plastic little elastics, they break your hair. If you already have dry, damaged, brittle hair, it's just gonna, put a lot of pressure on your hair and that's why you're getting breakage. Some people I've seen, they even have breakage exactly where their ponytail is. So make sure if you have damaged hair that you're using a scrunchie whenever possible. And you know, obviously if you're going out or you're doing a pony as a look, I'm not saying use a scrunchie, but use it whenever you can. Love these. And you can get like a huge pack of these on Amazon. I think I got like 10 of them or something and they're silk scrunchies. So I really like these that I got off of Amazon is this curling iron holder. Now what I really like about it is it has this padding on the side and it's basically heat protected. So you can lay this down and put your hot curling iron right here. I showed this in one of my um, travel videos. I'll link that video in the down bar for you guys. But I show you guys everything that I bring with me on the go. But I love this and I have a travel brush and comb in here but I love, love, love these. I'm gonna talk about dry shampoo. This is what I got off of Amazon and I really like it because it's all natural. It doesn't have all of that, you know, crap ingredients. And I I don't like squirting it on my hair because I feel like it's too much. So I put it on my hands and I rub it together because it comes out like straight powder. And then I rub it through my hair. I actually use this today. I can pretty much go like five days without washing my hair. I can even go longer sometimes. Um, if you guys wanna know how to do that, I, like I said, I'm a cosmetologist. I know how to do it correctly. And if you guys wanna see that video, let me know in the down bar. But I can go a very long time. You have to go through a training process and I can do it. I can show you what to do. And there's a proper way to shampoo your hair once you've gone that long. So I think that's the thing that a lot of people don't share about hair care is how how to wash your hair after you go that long from washing your hair. Okay, so anyways, this is called Silky Touch Dry Shampoo. And I like this because it's all natural. But I also use this Living Proof. Now this isn't the dry shampoo. This isn't my favorite product. I wanted to show you guys this container. It looks like this, but it's called Living Proof. Um, it's by Living Proof and I absolutely love it. So sometimes if I'm on the go or I'm in a hurry, I'll just use the spray because it's faster and I'm like, Shh, sh you know, the powder takes a little bit longer. So I bounce back and forth between them. I like to stay organic and natural when possible, but girl, I'll use some chemicals when I need to, okay? So I don't know if you guys would be interested if you wanna see a video of like how I, when I get out of the shower, what I put in it and how I style it, cause it honestly starts from right when I get out of the shower, what I put in my hair. It's a process to tame this craziness of my hair okay this is like this is not how it really looks <laughs> but i get it to look like this so i guess it is how it looks the products that i spray in my hair is newer to me but i've been using it probably the last six months because i was using certain products for like years and years so i love this stuff it's by kevin murphy it's called Sh shimmer shine and i spray this in my hair before i style it and then i spray a little bit after i style it and it smells really good and it's super pretty in the hair. You get back some of that shine you lose from putting heat in your hair every day. So I absolutely love this stuff. The product I use is this, I believe it's Davinas. Davinas, 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 something like that. And this is the Volume Mousse. This is another product that I love and that I use at the top of my roots to give me some volume when I'm blow drying. So I take this and I will put a little bit at the roots of my hair um, along with a couple other products, but I put this in and then when I'm blow drying it, it adds a lot of volume. So it's really good and it smells so good too. Okay, I feel like this year, this has been the game changer for me. This is called All-in-One Milk by Daviness, Daviness, whatever it's called. But you give it some sprays all throughout your hair, especially through the ends. I brush it through and then I blow dry it. I have that at the roots and this um, in my hair. and. I cannot tell you like how much shinier and prettier my hair looks, even though it's frizzy and fine. Like it's curly, frizzy, fine. So it just, 
it looks bad. So I need lots of products. Like my hair, I see all these girls on um, YouTube and they're like, yeah, I don't like using a lot of hairspray. And I'm like, oh my God, my hair thrives off of hairspray. I feel like I have to have hairspray. So anyways, if you're a person that needs product in your hair, this is a great product to use. I would definitely suggest trying it. Okay, you guys. So I am one of those high maintenance girls where I like to use three different types of hairsprays. I like using hairsprays um, three different types because it depends on the situation, how I'm styling my hair, what part of my hair that I'm using it on. That sounds really high maintenance. <laughs> but anyways, I just thought I would show you what I like to use, okay? So I have this one, it's called Platinum. It's by J. Beverly Hills, my favorite. If I had to pick one, I just, I would pick this. It just has a shine to it and it's like, it makes your hair, sorry, stuff's dropping everywhere. I just love it because it adds shine to your hair and your hair is still movable, but it's got a little bit of hold and it's just so pretty. I love this hairspray, you guys. If you have to pick one, I would pick this hairspray. It's really, really good. And then I also use by J. Beverly Hills, Hold Me Light. I love this hairspray. It's a lighter hold. It's not too sticky, but it still gives you, um, you know, a medium light hold. Now, then there's this bad boy. Okay, this is straight, sticky. I want you to stay, don't you move, you do what I say controlling hairspray so this is hold me firm so i use this like probably throughout and um the platinum throughout while i'm styling my hair and then at the very end i'll give it to i'll give this one a shot like don't go nowhere you do what i say so i love these hair sprays check these out all right ladies i hope you enjoyed my amazon favorites hair edition that was all of my favorite hair products that i can buy on Amazon. I hope you guys enjoy that. If you can use anything I showed you here today, give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell. And if you guys have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you being here and supporting my channel. Also, what are your favorite Amazon products? In the comments below, I really want to know some new Amazon favorites maybe I can try out. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie.